If you know me, then you know that I usually make videos which are basically my journals coming to life and today I really wanted to discuss the normalization of hating yourself because I hate this so much and I really wanted to make a video about it with like-minded people who can actually be on the same page as me or people that do not agree with me but actually can put a thought open-mindedly to what I'm trying to say because it's been such a detriment to society that it took away years of my childhood, teenagehood, I don't know, <laughs> so yes, um, let's get started. Just like in the essay or diary entry, let's first define what I'm trying to say when I'm saying the normalization of hating yourself, because it can mean anything from, okay, let's just start. <laughs> so what I'm actually referring to is the allowance or the ability to make self-deprecating jokes about yourself and being your lowest possible self while feeling good about yourself. So examples could be having a bad diet or not exercising, not learning or making jokes, self-deprecating jokes about yourself, about your bad traits and laughing at it and making it your own personality trait. Now, let me give you examples because it might sound a bit weird if I just hear me say that out loud. So, a bad diet. Oh, I'm just eating pizza every day. Or, I just ate McDonald's for the fifth time in a row. Or this TikTok that I posted a very long time ago. That was actually me, so it was quite relatable at the time. <laughs> a bad diet can also go hand in hand with being bad at exercising. So for example, oh, I'm just staying all day in my pajamas. I'm not like other girls. Or I day exercise since I married my wife. Ha 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 ha. I'm so funny. Or I wish I lost weight. But I can be asked to exercise. Like you make jokes about not exercising as if you're coronary artery is still as healthy as it was before you start stopped exercising. When it comes to not liking to learn or read, it can be stuff like, oh, I'm doing my homework again. Oh, you're reading a book? Oh, there's something fun for once. So yeah, those self-deprecating jokes might be fun at the moment, but it's actually at the core really sad and I was one of them. I was doing those kind of jokes and honestly, I'm not judging anybody. It's just what society made us believe that it's okay and normal. Am I developing wrinkles? No, I'm not. <laughs> now, why do we do these things? Because, just like any other discussion, I want to know the reason why it's been so normalized. Because I'm sure that if you go to your grandparents right now and you tell them this kind of jokes that you will tell your social media friends or your peers from that are the same age as you, they will actually shame you, they will be like back in my day we all used to be disciplined or young people these days, they're so lazy and they don't care about anything I don't know, things that old people say all the time, generational differences that they really dislike or I know that at least once your parent said that you're always on your phone or ta da da, you should get out of your cave room at least once in a while but I know that us, me and my peers and my generation didn't just start being lazy, undisciplined and really just carefree for no reason. I believe that the reason to our behavior is, of course, at the core, the media, our social pressure and society and it can also be seen as a coping mechanism to say. Because yes, I do not believe that any behavior is a result of individual choices when it comes to generational behavior or generational behavior once again <laughs> but when I'm trying to let me give you some examples actually so copy mechanism what do I mean by this copy mechanism can actually refer to for example you have an exercise for two months right and you actually turn into a lazy person okay in, in brackets I don't actually believe that there's such a thing as a lazy person only a person who has not given the stable and perfect environment and motivation to do anything that they find 
potentially able to do and to fulfill their full potential. Now, <laughs> and as a result, because you feel really guilty and really bad at yourself because you haven't exercised for so long, you start saying things like, oh yeah, I didn't exercise for so long, ha ha ha. And because it's so socially acceptable, you make jokes about it and in the end you don't feel bad about yourself as much. And because other peers your age didn't exercise for so long either, then you feel even better because what's the most comforting thing that when a student tells you that I haven't started either? Uh -huh. I should stop making this fun. I should stop making this unfunny, <laughs> laughing, sarcastic kind of laugh. When it comes to social media, it plays a big part. My generation is... I don't believe there hasn't been a time where we didn't know electricity or technology. And let me remind you, people born in 2000 are 18, over 18. They're not 20, 20 to 21. Nevertheless, <laughs> when it comes to social media, if one personality or if one influencer or a celebrity does something and it's shown on social media, then everybody does it because of several reasons. I'm not going to get really into deep, but one of the main reasons is because everybody does it. If you see it on the news or in social media, then it means that everybody does it and it's so popular that you ended up on the news or viral, whatever. And so if you see jokes or very big meme pages or joke pages or like comedians, influencers, personality kind of celebrities, then you know that they do that, you want to be like them, and everybody else does that as well. Am I able to blame the individuals and blame a whole generation for this kind of behavior? No. I dislike it myself, but in order to change and reach your full potential you have to start from the beginning because honestly fitting in with this whole culture of being lazy and hating yourself and just not reaching your potential is actually quite detrimental to your growth as a person and your healing and your once again growth and learning and researching life lessons and life in general can i blame the individual i will never blame an individual because of a generational behavior a generational behavior is usually occur because of bigger influence uh, influences rather than individual choices and in order to kind of be one of those healthy people, productive people, when I was younger, it was very hard because nobody had the same hobbies as me. And in fact, I would be alienated because of that and I would be called a nerd or a geek if I tried to be super productive and wake up at 5 a.m. and stuff like that. But now because of TikTok and other social medias, it's so easy to just fit in into your own group of people that you find more relatable. There's productivity TikTok pages and productivity YouTube channels or health and fitness or back to school or whatever you can find anything any niche even if you like insects you can also find insect specifically relatable tiktok pages or any other social medias so it's much easier to become a productive person and you can be anything you want to anyways i'm going to end this video on a very positive note which is grow and reconnect with yourself in your own terms and making self-deprecating jokes about how bad you are at something is not a personality trait your favorite netflix show is not a personality trait and you being boring and dumb and stupid and slow and clumsy and boring and lazy and uninteresting is not something that you should find as a fun topic to joke about I said it. I actually wanted to do this video a long time ago, but I felt like it wasn't too sensitive because most of the people do find making jokes about themselves funny, and I used to do that as well. And if someone five years old would tell me about my joke, uh, why don't you exercise? Psst, you're so lazy. I will be like, but yeah. I'm trying to reenact a meme that I don't think I should. <laughs> Bye bye. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you enjoy my kind of let's reflect on our life videos then you should subscribe because that's why you should talk about things that kind of I'm learning a bit too late after I've turned 18. So yeah, have a wonderful week or weekend whenever you're watching this because why not? At the end of the day, this is your life, so you might as well enjoy it. We're gonna die anyway.